Okay, uh, I'm Marge Simpson, and anybody that wants this, watches The Simpsons knows that Marge Simpson's husband is an alcoholic. So in my last video I talked about how um, it's not just Marge Simpson who's got problems with substance abuse in her family uh, here on planet Earth. Um, we're all the same species, and which means we're all family. Believe it or not, doesn't seem that way, but that's what we are. We're all um, we're, we're all family. We're all related, and um, we've got a huge problem on planet Earth. It has to do with uh, alcoholism and substance abuse, and uh, all the problems that are um, related to how we treat one another. So in this video, I'm going to talk about, um, the last video was the diagnosis, that we have an enormous problem. And it's not just, you know, I don't want people to say, well, it's substance abuse, abuse, and alcoholics. It's not that. I mean, that's how it plays out in our lives. But what it is, is we have no love on planet Earth. Humans cannot love one another and they cannot love themselves because they have too many problems too many problems too many problems too many problems but the solution is always more love and the kind of love that we need is conscious love way more consciousness because we need to really understand what is the root of all problems on the planet and they're all interrelated so you can't just go and send somebody to um, dry out at a treatment program because they're going to come back to a society that is still totally sick so um, our whole world has got to be changed and it has to be based upon love that's all. And anything that's not love, it's got to get thrown on a great big bonfire and burnt. And, you know, the simple fact is there are not enough treatment programs for the amount of substance abuse, alcohol abuse, spousal abuse, child abuse. work abuse you name it everything humans do it's full of abuse it's all abuse 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 of power huge issue abuse of power which expresses itself through um, I'm going to abuse you uh, using my power to get sex from you. I'm going to abuse my power over you because I have money and you need money. I'm going to use my physical force to abuse you. I'm going to use guns and knives to abuse you. I'm going to use ignoring you, totally ignoring you. To abuse you. I'm going to go into my gated village to keep you out. I'm going to have 
high security to keep you out. I'm going to have an enormous military to keep you out. I'm going to have a border wall to keep you out. I'm going to have spyware on everything so I can watch what you're doing. Uh, the whole world is so brutal to humans. It's a great big zoo where there's great big bars everywhere. And you're the zoo animals. There's no love for these zoo animals. They're keepers. I think they're dangerous animals and they need to be locked up all the time. And if they can't figure out a way to throw you in a regular prison, they're going to invent some way to scare you into putting yourself into prison in your own homes and call it a quarantine for COVID-19. So, how are we going to fix this? Some people say, we have to arrest the evildoers. I'm sorry. There's not enough places. That's why you're in quarantine. Because there's not enough places to put you. So you're going to have to stay at home and be imprisoned, house arrest. And, you know, now it seems like, oh, you're going to get a few more freedoms. You'll be able to go back to the way things were. No, I don't think so. It's pretty much going to become routine now. More lockdowns, more police presence. More stories on your television telling you lies and lies and lies to make you believe these stories so you'll be easy to control. There's no love in it for you. You're a problem. Everyone looks at every other human on the planet and say, you're a problem because you're a disease carrier. You're a problem to me. Huge problem. You got disease. And even if they let us out on quarantine, you've got disease. Because I don't trust anyone now. Everyone. Got disease. I might as well say everyone does. I don't need the testing. You got disease. I don't care what the tests say anymore. I don't need the test. You got disease. You're diseased. Horrible, diseased. So, I don't know, I just keep coming up with more and more of the problem. I keep saying conscious love is the way, but who's going to do conscious love? That's pretty much not my problem. I can't fix myself. That's what you're saying. I can't fix myself. My situation is, you know, I just get it through every day. I just go through it day after day. And I don't have, I, I can't give any more. I can't fix any of you. And you're diseased anyway. I don't want you around me. And this is the way you're all looking at each other. And I say, conscious love. And you look at me and you say, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't understand. 
what's conscious. What's love? How can I teach you consciousness? Some people say mindfulness. How can I teach you love? So this hat is known as Old Spicy, and the number is 33, which is the master number. So if you wear this, you're an old man and you're a master. Master of what? Um, uh, I'm here to talk to you about rock bottom. Because on planet Earth, we are at rock bottom bottom. That's usually what you call someone who has um, no further to go. We're at rock bottom on planet Earth, so we can either sit here on our asses at rock bottom, or we can stand up and look at each other and say, we're at rock bottom. And you can put out your hand and say, hey, this is my name, and I'm at rock bottom. And, you know, can I help you get up off your ass? There's no one else here. But all of us. Sitting here because we hit rock bottom on planet Earth. It's time for us to get real, to really tell the truth, because that's what you do at rock bottom. You don't hide. There's nowhere to hide because everyone else is here at rock bottom. You've got to tell the truth. We're at rock bottom. What do you do when you're at rock bottom? I don't know. I'm here. You're here. We've got to get us ourselves up so that we can start climbing the stairs out of rock bottom. Who knows how to get out of rock bottom? You might ask some of the people who have been in alcohol treatment or substance abuse treatment or anger management abuse treatment. You people that have been at rock bottom before, what do you do? You guys know you were here before. Now we're all here with you. What did you do when you were in treatment for anger and for substance abuse and alcoholism? What did you do? Because all of us don't know, but you know, you've been there. So these are the people who uh, we're going to have to turn to. The people who have already been at rock bottom and have been working on themselves. Who do you know who works on themselves? Because they've been in the psych ward. Or they had horrible cancer and they had to battle cancer. Or, you know, they've had horrible things in their lives and they've managed to bounce out of it. Those are the people who you have to look to and say, I don't know what to do. You seem to be someone who hit rock bottom and you've been on a healing journey. Help me because I'm on a healing journey and I don't know what to do. <laughs> 